I have a 21-year-old son who um, aspires to be a rapper. Mm -hmm. About a year ago, he started making music, and about nine months ago, I started helping him out financially. So in the past nine months, I've uh, invested $16,000. Uh, the issue I have is the lyrics, there's a lot of profanity, but then there's a lot of uh, violence. I don't want to dash his, his dreams, his passion, excellent work ethic, he's, he's good, he does his own writing, recording, um, ad libs, he does it all, and he self-taught himself in four months. But do, I, I'm just, I don't know, should I step back, let him do his thing? You're absolutely right in feeling what you feel about the lyrics that all of these young men are doing. Mm -hmm. You have every right to feel some kind of way about that. Should you pour any more money into it? Well, okay, he can write without money. He can rap without money. And you got, how old is he? Uh, 20, tw well, he, his birthday was yesterday. He's 22. 22. Well, see, he got figured out. I know you're a single mom and you want to support him. You ain't gonna dash his dream with $16,000. You do that every year. That's a lot of money every year, man. And look, my sons came in there with all kind of crazy ass ideas. If let's just say your son blew up, would you be okay with his rap style? Uh, well... <laughs> um, not with the lyrics about the violence. I would be okay with his rap style. I just have an a, a issue with that. And, and re he has a friend that's 17, well, he's deceased. He uh, got uh, he shot died. after a show. He got shot after a show. Same type of lyrics, walked out of the little teen club and someone shot him. Because listen to so, me, what, this is what you, they do not understand. And I don't know why nobody tell it to him about now. You can't rap about this life because this cat's out there living what you writing about. <laughs> they living this life, man. Because they think it's glorified in music so guys that ain't got no money, no hopes, no dreams, no, no hopes for tomorrow, they're out here living these lives. What you put out is what you attract to you. If you put out violence, violence is gonna come to you. Listen to me. All of you in here are gifted. All you need is the mindset to take your gift and apply it to a road of success. That's all you need. You know why, you know why I'm this way? Because I have an understanding heart and, and, a, and, a, and a mind of wisdom so, I can, so my light can show on people. That's what God made me for. So he sent me through all these tripped out situations I've been through, all these trials, all these tests. So when I get in front of people, I have a testimony. You can't tell me nothing about God. You can't tell me nothing about how he leave you. You can't tell me nothing about how he don't hear you. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. You looking at a dude lived in a car for three years, you're looking at a dude on his third marriage, looking at a man flunked out of school, you're looking at somebody lost everything he ever owned twice, you're looking at somebody had a severe stuttering problem. I got past all that because of my mind. It ain't cause of just I'm Steve Harvey. It's cause I changed my mind. Thank you very much. Steve Harvey's show, everybody. We'll be back. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.